Hey, welcome back to Exit 45. Uh, so, uh, one of the things I'm having to do is I got to remove the headliner. Uh, my dog. <laughs> I got to remove the headliner because uh, my car and me got caught up in the uh, hurricane here just recently. And I had a tree limb fall on my top of my car and busted up glass, dented up the top, you know, creased up the top of the car. And I got to fix all that. Um, but I'm not going to be able to fix it unless I can get to the metal. So I got to pull the headliner out. So we're going to focus this video on just getting, yes, Loki, just getting the uh, headliner out. And uh, so I can get to all that. So this will be a, a video solely on the headliner. So let's go see if we can't get this thing out of here. Okay, so before I uh, start on pulling anything out of the car, uh, you know, like headliner and things like that, um, I've got to make sure that uh, the battery's disconnected because we're going to be messing around in uh, areas like, uh, you know, airbags and things like that. So uh, we just want to make sure that we're good to go. All right. Okay. Positive is pulled. I've just got it tucked down here and then I'm gonna go ahead and close the hood. That'll keep it from coming back up We should be good to go. I'll put something over this when I close the hood I mean, I got that pad right there, but I'll put something over that just to make sure there's no Connecting the positive side to any kind of ground or metal All right, and then we'll uh, press on Okay, so now we are gonna start on this headliner Along here, there's all kinds of things that are going to need to come off from what I can see. So, uh, I can see right now that that's got to come off. This all has to probably come out of there. Probably that side. Um, those probably, since this goes up inside there, that'll probably have to pop off. Probably right there. Same on the other side. And it looks like there's another handle and another, you know, there's a, another pillar right there that'll probably need to, all oh, that right there on either side. So there's, uh, there's quite a bit of stuff that's going to have to come out to get this, just to get this piece of formed headliner out. Oh, I love new cars. No, I don't. Okay. Um, let's start here. So, um, I glanced over a video. Uh, I didn't have a lot of time, but I was able to glance over it. So I do know that there are a couple of tricks on these. So let's see if I can figure that out again. Um, that was a while when I watched it. So let's get that out of the way. Let's get this. So this is supposed to just turn. See, oop, there you go. So it was like that. I guess that works. There you go. You just... There you go, turn it, and there you go, it comes out. All right, and then on this, we'll put put that back, and then we see, yep. So, I don't know if I can show you here, but right up there, there's a little opening, and you gotta push push in on that. And then as, you, as you're pushing in on that, you turn this all the way to this way, and it's supposed to just come out. So let me uh, let me get something up in there and see if I can't uh, see if I can't make that work. All right, so you can see I've got the thing in there, and that didn't seem to do anything. Let me try it again. Can't. It's hard to tell if I got it plungered. Huh. Well, I'm trying to figure this out, guys. Hmm. Let me get something a little bit smaller than than this one's. Uh, this one's a little bit big. Maybe that's the problem. Well, let's try it again. I got a, a smaller one. Let's see if that works better. Well, 
doesn't seem to have worked. I'm still trying to figure it out, guys. I know it's supposed to plunger it in so then that whole locking mechanism side turns and lines up to pull out. I just got to figure out how to hit the right thing. And I can't really see it. <laughs> Not working, guys. I'll keep trying. I'll let you. I'll bring you in when I got it. All right, we got her down, and I'm gonna tell you that took me a while. Wow, that was difficult. I was like pressing on that thing really hard, trying to, you know, like get it to knock, you know, go in and then unlock it or something. And but that was not it at all. It was it was just basically you're just trying to hold it in in position. So you, I wasn't putting a whole lot of pressure. I was. Almost like I was just taking it and spinning it with my with my uh, screwdriver there. So, anyways, uh, I'm gonna work on the other side and see if I can figure it out a little bit better in my head, so I can explain it better to you. But um, so we have a electrical connector for the uh, the light here. I'm gonna go ahead and disconnect that, and then we'll we'll get that out of here. All right. So let's see if we can't explain this a little bit better for you. So when you, when you push in on this, what you're really trying to do is push as you're, as you're turning, let's see if I can, as you can, if you can see how the whole thing turns, this, this turns with this as a unit, what you're trying to do is get this to not turn this to turn. So you're, you're, you're going to push. So I just pushed this way with it. And then if I, I know this is really, really difficult to show you guys. I don't even know. I got it. <laughs> now it's just being a royal pain. Either way, what you're trying to do is spin the visor and this separately. So you're trying to hold this from spinning while you spin the visor. And I just had to, I would hold it and then I would spin that visor. And, and, and when you're looking, you can see when it's, when this is not moving and this is moving and they're, they're moving separate. That's what you want to try and do. And then you have to reset the visor a little bit, go back in and hold it again and then spin the visor a little bit until it, until it pops out and it just falls out. And, and then you just got this connector, just squeeze and pull. Um, I'm going to do the other one and see if I can figure out maybe a better way to explain it. But so yeah, I mean, I, I can see what I'm doing, but it's really hard for you guys to see. But if I look here, you can see how, see right now, how, how the, this white part's not moving, but this is, that's what you're trying to get. So you're, you're, it's like you're pushing in and holding on the white part and trying to get this to move, but you can't move it a lot. It's not like you can swing the thing the whole way over. You can swing it a little bit and then stop. And then you got to re-grab in here again and then do it again. And then you can see how I'm, I'm moving it right now. And I've just moved it all the way to where, you know, but now if I come back, if you watch, as I come back, it's gonna lock back in. See, now it's locked back in. And see how it now moves together again as a unit? You're trying to separate them. And that's all you're doing is going into here is trying to, there you go. See, I just got it to separate again. That's it. And there's a little tab right in here that you're using to do that with. So it's it's not like you push really hard on it. That's what I was trying to do. I was just trying to push into this opening really hard, just push and then spin the visor. And that wasn't working, it's was more finesse. So you see right there, they're not together. And then as soon as I go all the way, click it clicks back in. 
and you just want to hold that you see which way I'm spinning this so I'm spinning spinning it this way and then it goes and then it's loose there you go it's a very confusing way of undoing this a little screw would have been better I think okay there you go got uh, that side and this side so next thing I need to do is I need to get this out of here and um, these come off because I had to put these back on because after the tree hit the roof um, one of these is already off so I popped it back in so I'm just gonna pop it back out and there's a screw behind there come on and that one doesn't work anymore either so I, I gotta look at that as well Come on. Now oh, I see the see the light in there. It popped out. So hopefully it's just a matter of popping that light back in there. Right there. So I'll just pop that. Must have just got knocked out when the tree hit the roof. All right. And let's see. There's there was a there it is way up in there. All right, so let's get this side off. There we go. There we go. All right, so there's that. So I'm going to get those two screws out of there, and then we should be able to pull this, this whole panel down and get to the uh, electrical connectors for all this stuff and disconnect them. All right, so there's a screw right here. Yeah, now I'm casting shadows by the light there, so I can't win. I'm trying to get some more light in here so you guys can see better. And then I'm just going to make a shadow. All right, there we go. All right, I'll just get that. All right. I should be able to just get this pulled down, I guess. There we go. Yeah, so this part here slides over this, and then this part here clips up. All right. There's the three plugs. I'm going to go ahead and get them disconnected. And then we'll pull this off. All right, so got this out, sitting here. And as you can see, I'm laying this. I don't know if you, well, maybe you can't see. I'll give you, I got this table all cleared. And I'm going to just put all the components that I'm taking off in order and on, on the right side as they would go in the car. So just trying to keep the confusion down on this. Okay, so now we got to get these off. There's four of them. Two in the front, two in the back. Two plus two makes four. All right, so it looks like there's a, a little cap or something here i just need to see if i can't pry it off and see if i can get to whatever holds it in a screw or something i don't know all right let me get my little screwdriver all right let's see if i can't all right this is getting to be really a pain that light is not helping all right so you can see what i'm doing and i'm just trying to pop that off come on well all right I'm gonna need two hands but you can see what I'm doing I'm just kind of getting up behind here and working it off but I, I'm gonna need to use a second probably small screwdriver and then and my other hand all right, let me get that popped off and then I'll show you. Okay, so you can see here. Now, taking these off, you got to you got to pry up under one side a little bit, then the other side a little bit, then back to the other side and it just works its way out like that. Um not very difficult to get out. Just got to be really careful. You don't want to pry from just one side because see how long and deep that goes up in there. You're never going to get it to come out and you'll break it. So you want to come a little bit on one side 
and then a little bit on the other side and just slowly work your way out and until you get enough where you can you can grab it then and just pull it out now if you look here I don't see any screws in here but it does look like there's some tabs so I'm gonna see if I can't figure out how those tabs work I think you can kind of see what's going on here I'm gonna try and pinch and see if that uh, it does seem to do something okay so that was fun but I was doing it right so if you can see here uh, focus there you go so there it is it just that goes up into here and then to get it out there's just let me get let me get refocused here there's two tabs in there all you got to do is squeeze them together and pull pull the handle out don't pull don't pull on these just grab the handle and squeeze that and just pull it out a little bit and then do the same on the other side all right so there you go got all four of those out so i think we're going to go back to the dome light knock that out and then we'll work around all of our pillars Okay, next on the list. So I think this one's the same way. I think we're just going to get up underneath here with a screwdriver. We're going to get up underneath here with a screwdriver. I think I'm going to try it from the other side. So we're just going to come up here. Just try to pop it out. There we go. Come on. Just don't want to break the tabs on it. There we go. Some junk in there, but all right. So there we go. That just pops out of there. And I assume, yep. All right. So as you can see, here's a screw and there's a screw. So. All right, so let's get those. All right. What do those look like? I'm gonna guess an eight. That screwdriver doesn't wanna. So let me see if I can get a, a number eight or something on there. Okay. Let's see if an eight works. Yep. And we should be able to just pull the uh, pull that connector out of there. All right, I'm gonna need two hands to do that, but I'll I'll pull that out. Okay, guys, so we're down to taking these pillars off, and it, I think it just snaps off. Um, but this here, you can see, it's loose. So I'm gonna see if that'll pop off. See if there's a something in there and there is so it looks like maybe a, a eight again all right there you go just a little little guy Okay, you can see it just pulls right off then. And be very careful. We got airbags up in here, so we don't want to mess with those. So we'll just try to be real careful with that. Okay, so we got the A pillars on front um, side here with the driver and passenger. So we're going to look at the B pillar here. And we should only have to take this portion here off. Uh, which means I'm going to have to pull the uh, uh, lap belt here off. So this is the adjustment. So I can adjust the uh, height. Whoops, right out, of, right out of the camera. You can, you can adjust the height like that. Um, there you go. 
All right, so you can see right there, there's my bolt. All right, I gotta figure out what size that is and, and get that out of there. All right, so that bolt in here is uh, 14, and I'll go ahead and start wrenching that off of there. Okay, so we got that undone from here. And now, I just need to see if I can get back in here and pop this loose somehow some way <laughs> all right so that just pops off let's make sure there's nothing down in here there's not so this one here probably just pops off as well i just gotta find the right place let me go around to the uh, to this side over here and make sure there's nothing. Okay, and I don't see anything screwed in here, so should be just a matter of popping it out as well. Yep. All right, come on. All right, we're still working on this. Uh, this weather, this weather strip's kind of in the way. I don't know if that'll come out. There we go. All right, so see how I got that weather strip out of the way? There we go. There we go. going to let this slide down in here there we go I'm just going to let that slide down in there I just need it out of the way to pull to pull the uh, top off I'm just going to finish pulling this weather stripping around all right let me get the uh, other pillar B pillar down and I'll bring you back in when we uh, move to the C pillar back there okay so you can see I've started to pull this and it's just pulling right out all along here and along here I just got this little area right here that needs to come out but it doesn't want to come out so I'm not really sure and she doesn't want to move so I don't want to I can see it, I can see it like, you can see that little bit of bend there. It's like, it's being held right there and I don't know by what. I can't figure it out. All right, what is it? Hmm. Well, I wonder, I wonder if it's just that it's loose enough now that if I pull the, uh, those pins out here and over here, that this will just come out and I'll be able to tuck it back in there and I don't have to pull this completely out, just get it loose like it is. We'll try that. All right, so I'm gonna pull the uh, the other side loose, and then I'll get these uh, buttons off. And then up around this, we gotta figure that out yet. Oh, well, there you go. <laughs> There's, I guess it just pulls down. <laughs> okay, so there you go. I got it all loose, but there's a few things I need to point out. So if you look here, you can see all this tape that was holding all these uh, wires routings. So when we get this all back in there, we'll have to work that, tape those down again uh, best we can. Shouldn't be a big deal. Um, but the other thing I wanted to show you was where I, around the uh, sunroof, 
it's just Velcro. So you can just grab it and just pull up, pull her down. She comes, comes right on down, no big deal. Uh, I worked it around the uh, C pillar, pillar here. That wasn't too bad. Getting it around that, but then you got the same thing back here. You got uh, the wire harness, so all that's disconnected now. So now I got to figure out how to get it out of here. <laughs> I think that's going to be the fun part. Okay, guys, <laughs> the, the struggle is real trying to get this thing out of here. Uh, it looks like the back door is going to be the way to go, but I, I just can't figure out which door and which and then which end of this is up or down so i'll uh, once i get it to where i'm starting to get it out the door I'll, I'll i'll get you guys in here so you can see you know how it comes out um because it's just not it's not obvious so all right let me let me keep playing with it i've been playing with this for a while i'll figure it out well i got it going out the uh driver's side rear door but I'm sure, as you can see, I'll get it on the other side and look, but you can see, in order to do it, it's it's having to be kind of creased up. There's just no way of getting this thing out of here. I've been messing with this for a very long time. And I don't even know, getting it in is going to be fun, too. But... There we go. So it's out. It's not terrible. It's you can see some of the crease marks. But it's not terrible. In fact, it's a lot better looking than I thought it was going to be. So all right. Well, that's how it comes out and you can see it's going to have to be kind of you have to kind of roll it, get it it's too big to fit out any of the openings. Uh, I think the other thing that you might could try would be uh, pulling the seat, the driver's seat. I think if you pull the driver's seat, that gives you that gives you more clearance. You probably still have to roll it a little bit, but not as much. Um, so that's that's something to think about there. Uh, possibly just taking that seat out and seeing if that helps you anyway all right well i got it out nope so let me show you what i got here there you go i got it all back in and it doesn't look too bad and it took me probably to put it in i don't know two or three hours uh to put it all back in the headliner anyways uh, it took me longer than that to get it out. <laughs> so once you uh, once you understand it, it goes pretty good. Um, but it's all in, and uh, the only reason I'm 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 kind of showing you the end product of actually getting it in is I want you to notice that I have all the seats out of it. I pulled all the seats out because unbelievably hard to get that headliner through the back door. You can't get it in through the front door because the, the door itself is like blocking your path in. That's the only back door is the only one that give you a path. That's a straight shot. Problem is that headliner is much bigger than that opening. Pulling it out was a lot harder because I still had the seat in here and laying down and you saw that. Uh, so I said, well, I'm not going to put it in that way. You know, I'm, uh, it's hard to see in here, but there are some crease lines on it from where it had to be folded and bent and, you know, kind of pushed through that opening. Uh, and with the seat there, it was even worse. But without the seat, I still had to do some of that. Uh, but it was a whole lot easier getting that in and out. Well, at least back in. Now, I'm, I'm sure it would have been a lot easier getting it out if I removed the seats. And I did a video on that. So just, you know, you search, uh, search for the Honda Civic uh, in my playlist and you will see uh pulling the seats if you need to see that but yeah this this went very very well um with the seats out and and there's four bolts and a, and a few plugs and the seats come right out it's super easy 
So anyways, I just wanted to bring you in and show you uh, while I had it open, I went ahead and put some hush mat down. I put it in the trunk as well. Uh, this car just seems to ride noisy for some reason. All right, I appreciate you guys watching and I'll catch you guys on the next one.